In this video, I'm going to talk about the second most important app in the Center of Excellence Starter Kit. So that's called as this uh, Admin Command Center app. Now, I'm in the make.powerapps.com. I'm the right environment where I install Center of Excellence Starter Kit. I go into the Center of Excellence Core Component. Now, under Apps, I will select the app called as COE Admin Command Center. So all the apps within the core components can be triggered through this interface but you need not do that you just need to do it for one and then i will show you how an admin and maker can make use of bookmarks uh, to uh, trigger the app okay so let me open this app so this is the coe admin command center app now on the left hand pane you will see a whole bunch of information now um, you know, i'll just open my slide quickly to show you what what all functionality <clears throat> can be uh, uh, derived using this particular app. Now, uh, this app is mainly used by COE admins, okay? Uh, it is useful for setting up a bookmark. So you can create a bookmark, you can manage a bookmark, you can make the uh, URL visible for makers. Uh, you can view the sync flow errors. So there are a set of uh, uh, Microsoft Power Automate flows, which gets executed in the backend, which helps in setting up the COE inventory. So you can view if the flow has some errors or not. Uh, you can even view COE flows and the status. So uh, Center of Excellence has uh, more than 200 flows. So uh, if you want to know each flow status that runs when it was last executed, uh, those all information can be pretty much accessed using this app. Then you can manage the customized COE email. Center of Excellence sends a lot of emails to admins, makers, users, portal users uh, for uh, appraising them about the status of their actions. It can be an approval email, it can be an introductory email, it can be an alert email, or it can be some sort of a basic notification. So those all things can be customized using a model-driven app table. Uh, manage environment variable. So, uh, Parameters uh, which helps in setting up the CEO environment specific to your tenant uh, can be uh, configured using this environment variables, which I'm going to show in the video. <clears throat> Apart from that, there are some handy links provided by Microsoft uh, to their portal. So uh, there is a link for accessing COE related support. Like if you want to view the release notes for uh, this month's release or a uh, previous month's release, those all things can be accessed. You can even raise an issue with Center of Excellence Starter Kit team uh, if you encounter any bug or if you have any questions. I've already covered that in one of the video, but this is also a place uh, whereby you can navigate and uh, land into the GitHub repository for raising issues. Uh, you can also navigate to Microsoft Blocks, Learning Path, M365 Message Center. Okay. So uh, let me show you the actual application. Now, this is a bookmark. Now, the first uh, section is a bookmark. Now, here you will see a lot of links uh, being set up. This is the links which I have set up personally. So uh, how to do that is uh, you click on edit bookmark and it will take you to some table. And within that table, you can uh, add your link. Okay. so. Uh, let's take, for example, uh, if I know uh, some application links, it can be a custom application or it can be a center of excellence starter kit app. Okay. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me uh, open, say, COE setup visit app. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to add that over here in the link. Okay. And I'll just say, uh, coe setup app okay uh, and then resource type i can say it's an app and show in admin command center i'll just for time being just say yes yes okay now the moment i click save this particular link gets stored in the bookmark now if i go to bookmarks it will slowly load all the tiles and then this is the coe setup app which i have uh, the tile which I've created just now. So if I click on this, it will uh, navigate me to uh, that particular application. Okay, so uh, this is how you uh, set up those uh, particular uh, tiles. 
within your organization okay uh let me show you another part like if you already have a tile in place what you can do is like if you want to edit this say abc uh, tile you can go into edit bookmark find that corresponding record go inside that record and then make those change okay now you can have a uh, resource type as app flow power bi url team sharepoint uh, and these all things are like just a categorization for you to see the information. Now, as you see here, there are a couple of things, show in admin command center and show in maker command center. Now, if you don't want that tile to be visible in admin command center, you can make mark this as no, okay? Now, this uh, is this configuration show in maker command center is basically used for an, another app, similar to an admin command center, there is an, another app called a COE maker command center. And those are uh, those apps are only for makers. And if you don't want makers to see this particular application, then you can mark this as no and then save the record. Okay, moving on to the next item, sync flow errors. As I mentioned to you uh, earlier that uh, in uh, Center of Excellence Starter Kit, there are a lot of sync flows which gets run. So in my case, uh, if <clears throat> I found that uh, like there are audit logs V2, this application, this uh, flow uh, is failing uh, multiple times. Now, what is the reason for that failure? I can go into navigate to the flow instance URL and find that out. So it will navigate that to Power Automate uh, and then it will tell me exactly the reason why this Power Automate is getting um, failed. Okay, so the flow run has failed. Now, why it has happened? Because of some parameter input, because secret value was not provided. And thereby, I can troubleshoot those uh, particular power automate flows. Okay. Now, uh, if you do not have any flow uh, errors, then uh, this particular table will show blank. Okay. Moving on to COE flows. Now these are set of the flows which gets run in the back end. So these are not necessarily syncing flows, but these are necessarily inventory collection flows or notification flows or uh, some sort of triggered notifications uh, flows, uh, which gets executed in the back end, uh, supporting the entire COE uh, infrastructure. Now, I, as I mentioned to you, it's more than 200 flows. Okay, so uh, it's a huge list. So it might take a while to load. And once it is loaded, it will categorize be, uh, based on uh, the component to which it belongs to, like how we have the core components or nurture components or innovation backlog components or ALM accelerator components. So it will categorize those flows uh, based on uh, that specific category. And uh, you will be able to see the status of the flow, whether it was run, whether it succeeded when it was failed when it was last run so those sort of information will be uh, visible uh, when this page gets loaded okay uh, let me close the other tab and let me duplicate this application till the time this particular section loads uh, we'll move on to uh, another section till this time uh, this coe flows table appears okay so it has already loaded now now as you see here all this all solution area will contain all the flows audit log will only contain flow related to audit log so here it clearly shows that sync audit log has failed okay and when it was failed uh, it was failed on the 9th of the august so i can go inside the flows and then i can uh, get the flow details, I can turn off the flow, I can run the history, I can see the analytics, I can do a whole bunch of operations within this application. Uh, clean up orphans, passed, compliance, passed, data was for teams, governance, passed. So like this, you can navigate to different flows to see from the back end uh, how this uh, application is doing. And it will uh, give you a nice uh, uh, set of information uh, for troubleshooting purposes. Moving on to the next part, COE configuration customized emails. Here, uh, you can configure the emails which get sent through the Center of Excellence Starter Kit. So one of the uh, email would be sending a welcome email, okay? So if I click on this record, and if I click on edit, I can configure the content of the email. I can uh, put uh, change the subject line 
I can put the CC, I can put reply to all, send on behalf, importance, you know, or maybe if I want to mark importance as say low, okay. And uh, if I say I can make some uh, rich text edits, okay. Let me make it say green color, okay, just for, for making this edit, okay. And yeah, I can just save this record. So once you save this record, this particular uh, email template will be triggered every time a new user gets onboarded to your environment okay for this particular email okay now there are other emails as well uh, you can go ahead play around with it and then see how it works environment variable now this is an important configuration uh, section which will allow uh, admin to set up some values okay uh, now these values are sometimes mandatory and sometimes it is optional. So make sure that uh, you uh, put that in a right perspective. Uh, so uh, example, if I have this say admin email, okay, if I have this admin email, I can uh, uh, edit this environment variable and then I can make those changes. You know, if I don't want this email to be uh, used i can change this email now similarly there might be other configuration values like the numbers number of days the lock should be kept uh, community url company name and so on and so forth so those all things can be configured and the good part is you know uh, you can uh, even revert back if you don't know uh, what was the value earlier you know and if you have accidentally overwritten something you click on revert and then it will be reverted back to the old value which was there when the system was set up so that's a nice feature okay now next item coe support so here you will be able to see which version of coe is currently installed okay it clearly mentioned that for me the version installed is 4.13 installed on august of 7th uh, and then i can download the latest kit version by clicking here i can view the release notes I can see what all components are, you know, either deprecated or added or removed or updated. So those all things I can read from here. I can report an issue. I can report an issue to the static team uh, in case I encounter any bug, okay, uh, within the system. So it, it's it's a handy uh, piece of link to navigate to, and I can also view some sort of documentation related to Center of Excellence static kit moving on to next platform news section blogs i can see the links of all the blogs uh, related to power platform in one place okay so if i want to know something about power automate what's happening uh, i can uh, see uh, that say example this microsoft power automate process mining is generally available so if i click on say launch it will take me to the blog site and then it will uh, give some more information about what's happening in those areas Similarly, on the learning path, again, if you want to learn more about Power Platform, if you want to learn, learn more about Center of Excellence, uh, Starter Kit, those all information can be uh, sorted from here. You can navigate to individual tile and then it will take you to the learn site and then you can uh, plan your learning journey accordingly. Release waves, so anything uh, which is upcoming, anything which is uh, uh, on the radar, uh, will be all displayed over here so if you want to know what's new in power platform 2023 release wave 2 plan you click on it it will take you to the external link and then you can read those information so it's, it's a handy place to uh, get uh, focused information on uh, release waves or learning paths or you know a whole bunch of information uh, message center so this is primarily for microsoft 365 message health center you can also navigate into admin center and get this information but then this is a place whereby if you want to know if there are any updated messages if there is a new feature coming up any feature which has a user impact or an admin impact or a feature update those all things can be viewed over here so if you want to see user impact uh, message then you can click more detail and then all those information for that user will be uh, user related message will be displayed and then you can action it accordingly so that's it folks this is all about cu admin center it's a useful app this uh, is the second most important app in the center of excellence starter kit uh, do play around with it because this app will help you configure the entire center of excellence starter kit uh, component and it will help you in troubleshooting the uh, uh, information 
uh, on why the flows or apps uh, behave uh, erratically. Uh, and you can even set up a customized email and set up environment variables. Thank you.